this project from beginning to end was inspired years ago. From the title, to the artwork, to the concepts. I was nine years old. I was riding a scooter to my aunt's house. Long story short, I was waiting at the corner for the light to turn red so I crossed the street. There was a guy next to me, his name was Laverne Summers. I didn't know him from anywhere. I never saw him in my life, but he was standing on that corner. So I hear a car. I hear a car screech around the corner. You know, I'm nine years old, I think it's cool. I'm like, wow, that was the coolest shit. But for some reason, I hear the sound getting closer. It's getting louder. I look to the left of me, the car is on the sidewalk coming at me. Couldn't move, I was stuck. All of a sudden, Laverne Summers pushed me out of the way of that I car. I still got hit by the car, but it wasn't as bad. The car picked him up, drove him into a pole, decapitated him from the waist down, and he died the next day. And I always said, whatever I do in my life will, will be dedicated to him. This is my debut EP, Laverne Summers. Summers here. What's going on, man? I'm Jay O. Tiago Magro. And this is Bond the Art. We start talking and start understanding all that. Listen to the music, listen to the words, the lyric, what it's all about. It's easier to just see something, but it make it even better like when you not only see it, but hear it and kind of matches like you're living. It's for real. So then it make it easier to start painting and kind of like that's when it started like flowing this whole piece and car and color and all that. I was actually in Westchester, New York, and I went to the sneaker store. I saw some of his art on the wall, and I was like, yo, who painted that? And the person said, man, this guy named Tiago Madro. I said, where are you guys' contact? They didn't have the contact. I left my number. I said, hey, man, if you ever see this guy again, can you please tell him to contact me, email, via telephone, whatever the case may be. Days went by, I didn't get a phone call. I kept going back to the sneaker store. He came today. He came today. He came today. It was like a tad stalkerish, right? I kept going back to the sneaker store. I said, man, what the fuck is wrong with me? It's 2014. Google this guy. Google them. Uh, hit him on Monday, hit him Wednesday, and I was like, I kept, like, I was very persistent because I was so taken by his art. So one day he responded, and, um, you know, we met up on Barry, it's like my favorite street, so Barry and Bleak, if you come by there, you might catch me just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> we just talking, chopping it up. I'm a recording artist. I would love to play you some of my music. Whatever you're inspired to make, that's going to be the cover art for my project. I don't give a fuck what it is. Whatever you're inspired to create, that's going to be the, the, the face of my music. Ten minutes ago, I saw it for the first time. No, second time. But this time, I really saw it. I really got to take it in. I actually cried when I saw it. The reason why I was so taken by it is because to be a creative artist, a lot goes into it. When you know you have great art, and you can't help people as much as you want to, right? Because that's what art is supposed to do. It's supposed to invoke thought. It's supposed to take you on a wave of emotion. That's exactly what this piece does to me. I'm just glad it's mine, man. I'm glad that I'll be able to give it to all you guys. And hopefully, you guys will feel the way I feel when you have it in your hand. The art that I do, I mean, I use a lot of hearts, and uh, people ask like, why you do that, or why is hearts, and why is you know. Uh, and, uh, first of all, I'm just gonna say I think the heart is the key. Is pretty much the, the key of your passion. It holds pretty much a heart holds pretty much everything, you know. And 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 what is your purpose in life? What is it? What what it means life? What it, you know. Passion is the common denominator for all art. You know, passion is the reason why you can go through the things you go through and continue to go through them. Passion keeps you going. That true talent isn't isn't music, isn't rapping, isn't uh, song structure. My my true talent is, is passion. I feel like to be passionate is a talent. It's something you can't teach. I can't teach somebody passion, you know. I tell you all the time, creativity is the new culture. If you're not creative, it's over. If you have a, sh a, 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 a little more time left, you better be creative and you better be it quick. Right, we're in 2014. Nothing is new. So now you have to be creative. And if you're not creative, your business, your art, whatever you have, isn't going to be received well. And if it is received well, it's going to be a fad. Because someone more creative than you is going to figure out how to do what you just did that was received well and do it better. Because he or she is creative. <laughs> Creativity is a new culture, man. And, and this is a step in the right direction. I'm New York inspired, nigga. You hear the sound?